Hi guys, it is the end of the week. Thank God it is Friday and the work week is done. It has been stressful again, but hopefully there are brighter things that are happening. Um, we just, you know, had some changes at work and stuff and um, I think it's going to be good. So I can't wait for that to happen. But yeah, I'm home and nothing really eventful happened this week other than me just working, going to work. Same kind of routine every day. That's why, you know, look forward to the weekends um, just to do something different. But yeah, so I plan on taking Snooky Louise outside because I haven't really taken her anywhere for I would say like the last three weeks, the only place I took her was to get groomed and to see the vet for her vaccinations. But other than that, I haven't taken her anywhere because it's been so cold. So today it got to negative 11 windshield. I think the actual temperature was like negative one. But other than that, it seems like a heat wave to us because we have been literally like negative 70s, negative 60s, if you can imagine the windshield being that cold, but it has been so. Yeah, so I think I'm going to get Snooky Louise outside and get some fresh air. I have to run some errands and I want to go to Starbucks because I haven't been anywhere. Like I said, I haven't gone to Starbucks because I literally cannot roll my windshield down because it has been frozen, but I got it this morning. So I'm happy um, to report that we are going to Starbucks. Do you know where we're going? We're going to go to Starbucks. Oh, I have to brush her this weekend, too. Are we going to go to Starbucks? Come on, let's go. Are we going to Starbucks? Are we? Are we going to go bye-bye? So I have her in her car seat. This is her car seat that I use um, in the car. I really like it a lot. It doesn't like strap her in or anything. I mean, the actual car seat is strapped in, but it's nice because I have a van so she can actually look out of the window. And if I didn't have this, she wouldn't be able to see anything. Oh, she is just so excited to be outside. She's shaking either because it's cold or she's excited. So we are off and driving. Oh. There's so much snow here, it's absolutely insane. And yes, I'm wearing sunglasses because um, the snow ref or the sun reflects off the snow and then literally um, it blinds my eyes. It's crazy. But anyway, oh my gosh, Snooky, what happened to your hair? Hair? Oh dear. So look at that, the roads for once are clear. I can't believe it. These are the snow banks that we have on the side of the road. I'm sure like you guys are all used to seeing snow by now in my vlogs, but I'm really interested to know who watches my vlogs that um, doesn't have snow in their area, that does not get snow usually in their state. Comment down below and let me know. I'm just interested to know um, you know, who has not seen snow, but yeah, these, uh, these hills on the side of the road are pretty big, I guess. We're supposed to get more snow, they say, too, which I'm not looking forward to. They said that, now, today is January 31st, and they said that we are only one foot under the total amount of snow that we got last year which is crazy to me that pretty much means that we've gotten a lot of snow and i feel like we really haven't focused much on all the snow that we got so far because we've been so focused on the frigid cold temperatures but um yeah i'm not looking forward to any more winter at all i just want it done at starbucks Hey, I wanted to know, is your Starbucks really, really small like the ours is? Our Starbucks is like pretty small, I feel. Um, are they all like that or is it just ours because we're like in a small area? But anyway, I think I'm going to get an iced chai tea because I haven't had any chai tea lately and I'm getting kind of sick of the drinks that are... Um, I'm getting sick of the drinks that are hot. 
I don't know. I need something different. Uh, yes, can I get an iced chai tea, please, in the, um, let's see, what size, the biggest size, whatever it is. Yes. And then also, can I get a chocolate croissant? A chocolate croissant? Yes. It's Friday. Nope, that's it. Alrighty. Your phone comes to 672 at the window. Okay, thank you. It's Friday and I can treat myself, right? Um, I just, sometimes you need like a little pastry or just like a little something something to get you through. I mean, and I only come here on Fridays. I don't usually come here during the week. So um, it's not like I come here often. It's not like I eat sweets often, but um, I have been craving something. And I saw that um, one of the girls from Shaw's of Sunset ordered that chocolate croissant and I so have wanted it ever since I watched that episode. Do you guys watch Shaw's of Sunset? It's really good. It's on Bravo and I highly suggest you guys watching it, but yeah, so we are next. Oh, Snucks. She's waiting. So I got my chai tea. Oh my God, this is so good. For some reason, their chai tea to me tastes like a pumpkin or something. And then this is the croissant. Oh my God, it's chocolate. Yum. It's February, tomorrow actually. So it's time to change the calendar. I always get a Shih Tzu calendar every single year. I love it. And I love this one too, cause it's purple. It's just so cute. And this little one looks like my little Shih Tzu who passed away last, last, uh, when did she, she passed away last year, last Christmas. Oh, but yeah, I thought it was cute and I thought I would share it. I would share this also, this is another portrait of her um, that I got. I just, I thought it was so beautiful. This is actually a painting. It's just gorgeous. But see what I mean when I tell you guys that it's really hard to film in my bedroom? For some, Even though the walls are white, for some odd reason, everything looks completely grainy on this camera in my room. And I don't understand why. If you guys know or like, um, if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do, because I would like to film like videos in here or whatever, but I can't because... It just, it shows up this way. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, look what I got today. I got my cozy from Vicky. It is so cute. I absolutely love it. So I got this one, and this one is for a large jar. And this one, or these cozies, I would say, are like the best invention for Yankee Candles. If you are having a problem with your Yankee Candle tunneling, or burn issues, wax issues, whatever. I am telling you guys, order from Vicki. I will leave her Facebook information down below. She's excellent, she crochets these. And I just, I wish I knew, I wish I was this talented. I wish like I had some type of artistic ability, um, you know, or a craft or whatever that I could make these because these are a lifesaver for the Yankee Candle. So this one is for the large jar. And then this one is for the medium jar. So she makes them for the for the large and the medium, which is excellent because, you know, sometimes my swirl candles, um, you know, they won't burn evenly. This will get you a nice, even, deep wax pool without even trying. Like, you won't have to fidget with it. All you do is you put your sweater on and bam, you got a nice, even wax pool and... You know, everything smells great. So I love, love these cozies. So I just got back from Walmart and I'm sorry I didn't vlog, but it's Friday night. And to be perfectly honest, Hellmart was filled with single dads with their kids because they get them like for custody on the weekends. And 
it was just crazy. I wanted to get in and out. So that's basically what I did. But I bought these facial masks. These are paper masks. I've never seen these before. These are by Freeman. And this is just like the single, you know, mask that you can get for like $1.30. This one right here is blue. Uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Aguave. I don't know. Anyway, this is the hydration one. And then I also got one here. This is the paper mask in the rose, and this one helps brighten and tone. So I think I'm going to do this one, the hydrating one, just because it's been so dry out. So I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to film it or not. We'll see. Okay, you guys, this feels seriously like the weirdest thing ever, but I'm supposed to keep it on for 10 minutes. And I don't know if this is like supposed to break off of the nose. Oh gosh, I don't know, it's weird. Oh. Anyway, I feel like freaking Hannibal Lecter. Oh my God. Guys, so I just finished this mask and it really was good. Like, obviously right now I don't have any makeup on or anything like that, but it hydrated my skin really, really well. And I mean, it was a little bit hard to put on my face, but other than that, like my skin feels really, really moisturized. So I highly recommend this stuff. This is what it looks like. It was a dollar 35, I think. And, um, I got it at Walmart. So Go find this. This is awesome. It actually, like when I had it on, it made my skin feel really cool. It like gave like a cool effect, but it's so hydrating. So definitely recommend this. Go out and get it. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. I already let Snooky Louise outside to go to the bathroom because she had to go and I couldn't grab my camera on time. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what I was going to be melting this morning and during the day today. Uh, for my bedroom, I have one cube in each of the warmers that I use in my room. And this is Pink Sugar Cookie by The Bathing Garden. Smells really super strong. That's why I'm only using one cube each. And then I also have, um, here is Hearts and Tarts. This is in Cherry Slush Fruit Loops Lemon Serendipity. So a lot of scents going on there. There's a reason why um, this was a loaf that was actually cut up into smaller chunks. And as you guys can see, it was kind of dry and it looks more like a crumble to me than anything else. Not that attractive looking um, in the dish, but I mean, everything gets melted anyway, right? So it's not a big deal, but I wanted to choose something that had a cherry scent in it and I'll show you guys why. So this is why I wanted some type of cherry scent. I have my Yankee Candle large jar burning in cherry ice. That's basically why I wanted cherry, but um, this is the only candle that I'm going to be burning today in my living room slash kitchen. I think it's a beautiful scent and it can just stand on its own. Hi guys, so I decided that I'm going to be brewing my own coffee at home today and I chose this Nutcracker brand, I guess, uh, coffee. This is flavored in chocolate, caramel, and nut. And I have my little cup here that I'm gonna be using. Um, this is for the Keurig. And it tastes really, really good. It smells awesome. And then I'm gonna be pairing it up with Heath International Delight coffee creamer, and I'm using my SeaWorld mug that my daughter got me um, in Florida. So let's get brewing. Hey guys, so I have basically been filming all day. It's 10.30 on Saturday 
and I decided to film in my kitchen. I am filming my hand soap collection. Um, I just finished it, and then I also have all of these hand soaps da -da 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 that I did. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm filming the hand soaps, and I'm... I'm debating. I'm debating on whether I should do my candle collection. I probably should do it now just because of the fact that I have sunlight and I have everything all set up. I'm just really nervous because I have a lot of candles and that means that I'm going to be stuck all day pretty much organizing and trying to figure out where all these candles go. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys informed throughout the day, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, so I'm finished filming. I filmed, oh my gosh, a lot. I filmed my Yankee Candle Cozy Haul, my Yankee Candle Votive Collection, my Yankee Candle Medium Jar Collection, my Bath & Body Works Candle Collection, my collection of Bath & Body Works Hand Soaps, my collection of Yankee Candle Two Wick Pillars, and my collection of Yankee Candle Large Jars. So, oh my God, it's crazy. And um, I just need to upload all of them now onto YouTube and get things going. But I'm going to hop in the shower. Finally, it's like almost three o'clock and I haven't even taken a shower yet. I have, I'm still in my pajamas. I've been filming like literally all day. So my mom is going to come and pick me up and we're going to go see a movie. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi, everyone. So I'm just getting ready to go see the movie with my mom and I forgot to shake out my curls. But anyway, um, I don't know what movie we're going to go see. I can't even remember the name of it. It's some like foreign film or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing or what she wants to do, but I don't know. It's supposed to be about, it's supposed to begin with the letter P. I know that. And it's supposed to be about a uh, mom who gives her son up for adoption but it's supposed to be set like way back in the day like in bc or something i don't know whatever it'll be interesting but i'm not going to film in the theater because last time i filled in the filmed in the theater my video did not get monetized and they said it's because i showed some kind of advertisement or something in the theater i don't even know i don't even remember what i did but anyway so i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog i don't know where else we're gonna go Hopefully nowhere too crazy because I'm not feeling that well again. You know, I feel like I keep on complaining to you guys saying like, oh, I'm not feeling well. My head hurts. My stomach hurts. But like in reality, like most of the majority, most of the, the majority of the time I don't feel well. Like something is wrong. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a chronic complainer. Who knows? But anyway, so I will check in with you guys later. Hi guys, so we just got to the theater and we're at the Regal Cinemas, which is a place that we usually don't go to because my mom wanted to see this foreign film. What is it called again? You don't remember the name of it? I don't. All I know is that it started with a P. Anyway, so we're here and we're just about to go inside, but I'm not going to... Philomena. Philomena, yeah. No, that was a lady's name. I don't know if that was the name of the movie. Something it was like Philomena. That. Something like Philomena. That. Anyway, so we're going to go and um, see what's up in this shindig. But I will report to you guys later and let you know my review on the movie. Hi, guys. So I just got out of the movie and my mom had to go to the bathroom. So I'm just kind of waiting for her in the car. Oh, it's cold. Ooh. Anyway, the movie um, was called Philomena. We were correct. And oh my gosh, it was a really good movie. Like, tearjerker all the way. Like, it was so good. Nothing like what I was expecting at all. I'm just like vlogging and driving. Okay, anyway, it was nothing like what I expected at all. It was so good. Hi. Hi. Are you coming? Not if you're taking. I'm not videotaping you, just me. Okay, what'd you think of the movie? I thought it was really good. Yeah, I think she deserves an award too. Well, him too. They yeah. both should get an award. Both the actress and the actor, the main person, did a really good job.
The nuns too. And the nuns. And I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Well, I didn't really know what it was going to be about, but. Oh, I'm freezing. It's so cold. Actually, it's a heat wave for what we had last week, what we're supposed to get. So, um, what are we going to do now? Just go home? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I will check in later. Breezewood. So I just turned the camera off and my mom said that she wants to get a cheeseburger. That's such a fibby. <laughs> now she's not even talking. The second I turn the camera off, she's like, let's get a cheeseburger. And you know, so I guess we're going to go get a cheeseburger or something somewhere because we both didn't have dinner. So I will vlog, I guess, when we get there. My hair is huge right now. Um, so, whoa, bright light. So I just got home with my mom. We went out to eat. And um, the reason why I didn't vlog, sorry, is because um, we sat next to people that we knew there. And we were, like, kind of talking with them the entire time. But, um, yeah, so I am home now. And I just let Snooky Louise outside to go to the bathroom. And... I'm going to be editing my video, so it's probably going to be a late night, but tomorrow is the Super Bowl. Who do you guys want to win? I really could give two shits. I don't care who wins. Um, but yeah, so I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Well, it's 9 o'clock. I think we should get out of bed. Are you so sleepy? Oh, snucks. So it's coffee Sunday. Yes, I need coffee again. Usually I don't do coffee twice on the weekends, but I just have to today. I don't know why I'm just dragging ass. Probably from eating that burger last night that my mom pretty much made me eat. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I ate it. I ate it. But anyway, so today I'm going to be brewing by Starbucks. This is a caramel coffee. I'm going to try to do two because I feel like doing ice today in my coffee. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Well, actually, the birds aren't singing. I can't find them, but they're out there somewhere, I'm sure. And I decided that I wanted to do ice. And then I'm pairing it up with the Heath International Delight Coffee Creamer. So let's get started. And then for my melts today in my living room, I decided to go with something bakery because I didn't really want something like too fruity or whatever. I wanted something foody for um, the Super Bowl because we're going to be probably cooking pizzas and whatnot and having people over. So I decided to do this. This is from Sassy Girl Aroma and this is Cotton Candy and Zucchini. So this is the loaf that was cut up, and as you can see, it looks pretty good. It didn't really crumble too much, and um, the in-beds, you know, everything all pretty much stayed intact. Oh, uh, my white chocolate mint CCC candle. The, yeah, that's what's happening. I think I'm going to just take it back. I mean, this um, wick on the right keeps on extinguishing itself. I have foil around it because it was tunneling so bad, but this wick just looks like there's something wrong with it. Something doesn't look quite right. So what I want to know from you guys is, um, by the way, did I say that this is the white chocolate mint? Um, have your CCC candles, colonial candles done this? Um, or do you guys have no problem with it? Where do you guys purchase these candles from other than TJ Maxx? I just, I'm interested to know if this is like the wrap of these candles or if, um, you know, I just got a dud because this is my very first one. So comment down below and let me know. Hey guys, so I was just going through my Better Homes and Gardens magazine and look what I found. I found an advertisement for the Better Homes and Gardens candles. 
So this one is in Zesty Lemon Peppercorn. This one is in Fresh Eucalyptus Mint. And I know, I said I wasn't going to buy any more of these damn Better Homes and Gardens candles, but shit. <sighs> I don't know. And then this one looks so good. This is Peony, sorry about the camera, Peony and Rose Petals. <sighs> Son of a bitch. So I just blew out the candle of the Shimmering Cherry Blossom in my bathroom. And there was a nice even wax pool so far. The wicks look a little bit crazy, but I'm going to be leaving the house. So always have to burn out those candles before you leave. Hi guys, I'm filming in my room. Can you tell it looks a little grainy? I don't know if it does or not. But anyway, um, I am on my way to Starbucks because I found out on the... Where did I see it? Oh, one of my friend's pages on Facebook, they said that there's like a butter brew from like Harry Potter. So I'm going to try that out, but I'm not going to be able to film probably because um, the recipe is on my phone and I film from my phone. So I'm not going to be able to film. Does that make sense? But anyway, so um, yeah, Snooki Louise is not feeling well today at all. I don't know what's going on with her, but She's shaking a little bit and her stomach is growling a little bit. So I assume that she got into something not so good. Uh, but I did finally get her to eat a full meal. So um, hopefully she'll be back to normal. But we are on our way to Starbucks once again. When you've been sitting in your car for over five minutes and there's still ice on the windshield, Wisconsin problems. Oh, Snooks, your hair's a mess. But at least we got out of the house, right, baby? Ugh. Well, at least I got the majority of the windshield cleared off. Probably isn't a good idea for me to vlog, drive, and have an ice-covered windshield. But I'm doing it because I live in Wisconsin, and that's what Wisconsin is all about. Um... So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know too, I'm not going to be recording uh, vlogging at all during the game, the Super Bowl game today. Like I said, I'm having people over and the people that I'm having over do not appreciate being on camera for YouTube, I guess. I don't know. It's a bummer because I want to vlog more, but the people in my life don't want to be on YouTube, which I have to respect that. I mean, that's, you know, their decision or whatever, but, oh well, you can't win them all, I guess, but, um, yes, I'm on my way to Starbucks, and I cannot wait, and then I think I'm going to visit my daughter at her work, too, because it's, like, literally across the street, pretty much, um, so, yeah, we'll see how she's doing. She's looking for a new job because all the people at her work pretty much suck ass. Um, and the people that she really got along with well left because all the people at her work suck ass. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I thought that it would be nice to go visit her. Maybe I'll get her something at Starbucks as well. Maybe not. Who knows? But yeah, I'm almost to Starbucks. So Actually, in the comments down below, I also want to hear from you guys, what is your favorite drink to order at Starbucks in the winter? And what is your favorite drink to order from Starbucks in the summer? Uh, sometimes people don't order hot drinks in the summer, but cold, and some people are vice versa. I am getting a cold drink today. I don't care if the weather is like one degrees, I'm still getting it. But I'm here. So I got my Starbucks drink and I don't think they got it right at all. I asked for like that butter brew. I think it was like four pumps of toffee nut and four pumps of caramel. And then, um, and then with caramel drizzle and she's like, well, what kind of frappuccino? She's like, okay, I got all the pumps. She's like, but what kind of frappuccino do you want? And I'm like, I don't know, like the blended vanilla one. Oh, hold on a second. 
Anyway, so I'm like at the fast food place and I need to go through the drive through because there's other people like in, in front of me. So I'm like, she's like, hi, welcome to da da da. How can I help you? And it wasn't my daughter. I'm like, oh, hi, I'm just here to visit Annabelle. I'll go through the drive through. Um, but anyway, so I asked for the four pumps of toffee, the four pumps of uh, caramel, the caramel drizzle. And then she said something about, well, I got the pumps, but what kind of cap? Uh, frappuccino do you want and I said I don't know like the blended vanilla one so I got it and I don't taste any pumps in any of it at all all I taste is a vanilla frappuccino so that sucks ass but um so I don't know if I got the right thing but this is what it looks like and it's just vanilla on the inside I think it was Cynthia Cynthia is this correct is this what it's supposed to look like because I don't think it is and I don't taste anything except for vanilla. Oh wait, maybe I do taste it. I don't freaking know. Ooh, I think I do taste it. I think I just needed to melt a little bit. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna visit my daughter and I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I'm gonna, well, Actually, by the time you guys see this, um, my winner for my giveaway will already be announced. But anyway, um, I have to pick my winner. So um, I'm just going to go through random.org and um, enter in the numbers and then like count down to see uh, what it randomly picks. But um, I have already gained 120 subscribers in one week. So I'm happy about that. But um unbelievable right I'm excited I'm excited to like get my channel going and actually like with the whole subscribers thing people were talking and I guess I'm not really like overly worried about the number of subscribers I'm worried about the people who actually watch the videos but I'm next so hold on I hate roundabouts with a passion but anyway so as I was talking about with the whole subscriber thing I'm less, I guess, worried about numbers of how many subscribers I have and more so looking at my views, not my views as a whole, but my views for each video because I feel like everybody is kind of focusing on like, oh, how many subscribers do you have? Well, I have this many and I have that many and it's like, you know what, it's really not a game. Like, you could have you would have 10,000 subscribers and only have 50 people watch your videos um, like you know 50 views or whatever on your videos so I mean I feel like it just it all depends on how many views you get on each video and you know what like screw all the hoopla about you know who's more popular and who's not or like oh well my channel got you know a hundred views in one day and now I'm king of the world well I feel like you know what as long as you're having fun making YouTube videos and stuff like as long as you're having a fun time doing it then you know just do whatever makes you happy so that's kind of what I'm doing um, I have a lot of things also planned this summer I cannot wait for spring and I cannot wait to go to High Cliff with you guys again. Um, I really want my oldest daughter to go with me. That was so much fun the last time we went. We were like freaking doing yoga on a cliff and oh my God, it was such a good time. And I can't wait to bring the dog in her stroller and I just cannot wait to go outside and get energy from the sun and walk and just exercise and Oh, this winter is so long, but yeah, so I'm almost home and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so I just walked in the door and I think I'm just going to cut the vlog off here. I'm freezing. I'm so cold because of that drink from Starbucks. It just got me really cold, but look at, you see that picture of Miss Snooky Louise? So there was a woman that um, I actually started talking to on Facebook. She had Shih Tzus and she was from Canada and she asked if she could draw my dog and I was like, 
okay. And then she drew her and she sent me the drawing and I just, I gave her a small, you know, payment or whatever as a thank you. And I had it framed and I think it looks really, really nice. I have one of my other dog too, um, on the other side of the living room. But anyway, so I just wanted to say thank you guys for sticking with me this weekend. I think, well, I had a lot of fun. It was relaxing and I needed it with the stressful week that I had this whole entire week or the whole past week from uh, work and stuff like that. So hopefully this coming week will be better. And thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you are new, uh, welcome to my channel. Every Saturday, you guys will be getting a vlog for the weekend prior. And then Monday through Saturday or Monday through Friday and on Sundays, you'll be getting a candle review, a haul, a guinea pig video, who knows what you'll get. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Bye guys.